Hello, 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 this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a new tutorial. I'm going to show you how to knit this fantastic, super easy tutorial. So stay tuned. And here's the back of it. So grab the yarn that you need and let's get started. On this one, I use the five weight. You can grab any yarn that you want in your stash. You don't have to go and purchase something. But if you want to try, if you want to knit a baby blanket, then go ahead. You can make a scarf. You can make a sweater, cardigan, endless hats. I'm going to make a tutorial for a hat with this uh, stitch. So stay tuned because I am working, do, doing donations for the homeless. Okay. The yarn that I'm going to be using is this yarn. That I bought from Michaels. It's called Baby Rainbow and it's fantastic. It's a four weight, but it's more like a light, I would say a light three, maybe heavy three. It's definitely not a four. It's recommending a five millimeter kneading needles, which I'm gonna do with a six. Okay, you need to. Uh, Cast on multiple of five. And I believe I have 60 here. I'm not quite sure. I forgot. I cast on last night and I totally forgot. Okay. So. The first row. I'm just. Uh, the pattern has to be done on the right side. So the first row. I'm just going to do a knit stitch. And I will knit all the way. And we will start the pattern on the right side of the work. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to start the pattern. It's just gorgeous. So easy. You won't believe how easy it is. It's just the edging that I'm uh, trying to figure out what to do. But what I'm going to do is, this is the right side. So I'm going to not knit the first one, just slide it. And what I'll do is... I'll knit two stitches with this one it would be three so these are would be the edge stitches and what I'm going to do is knit a purl two okay I am not going to start right away so I am going to knit this three stitches this is where we do the pattern but I need to knit this one and then I'm going to purl two knit three so those three stitches that i am going to put the pattern on and these are the purl stitches in between it's only two stitches on the back So I am going to knit this all the way to the end. Just repeat what I'm doing. So knit two. It's like a cable stitch, like Aaron. Lately, I've been seeing these on uh, uh, vest sweaters as a, as a rib instead of knitting two knit two purl. This they're putting this stitch coffee chickadee or coffee seed in Turkish that's what it means I haven't seen this in uh, other tutorials I don't think so oh, one two three I did three already yeah, just be cautious because when I'm talking I forget so um, but this stitch uh, uh, Turkish ladies knit a lot and I knit this stitch a lot, but never oh, kept on postponing for the tutorial. I am so sorry that I am doing it so late. But um, yeah, I forget things, right? So I'm going to finish this all the way to the end and I'll be right back. Okay. Oops. Keep on touching this. So light. The tripod is so light. Okay. So I did my two pearl. I have one extra stitch. Yep. Well, that's okay. So I'm going to knit the three. 
Okay, so when I turn my work, because this is going to be the edge, I'm going to do the opposite of what I see. So I see a pearl. So I'm just going to knit those three stitches. And then I'm going to see what I do after that. So knit two, pearl three. And I'm going to finish all this row. And then I'm, when I come to the next row, we're going to start the stitch. But when you come here, just do what I just did. So what you do is you uh, uh, knit these, not purl, as we did here. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to start... Uh, the pattern here so the first do the edge which was knit knit and then you will notice that because I did the opposite it will give me this nice edging here okay so I'm going to purl the pearls and when I come to the three knit, what I'm going to do is show you how it's done. So I flip this third stitch over like this and make a belt. Okay. But I got rid of one. So I'm going to make one, which I'm going to do is a yarn over and then knit. So what I have is I have my three stitch with doing the yarn over. And I do my two purl. And when I come to the three knit, I repeat it. Sorry about that. My phone's suddenly open. <laughs> okay, so I hope I won't get dinked for that on YouTube because of the music. I don't know. Copyright, they say. Okay. Uh, so I flip that yarn and I'm knitting the first one. I need to go down. I don't want to go up. You can't see me. And I do a yarn over to recover that yarn that we did. We uh, got rid of. So knit two again. So easy. See how easy this is, and it's so easy to flip it. Oops! Don't don't lose that one there. <laughs> and then knit one. Knit that one. Yarn over. So, so we do a recovery and then knit that one and we get three. This is all to it. Show you one more time. So flip the third one over like this and then let it go. So you get you got one, rid of one, you make one, yarn over, and then you knit one. Okay, so I'm going to finish this row. And the other side, the wrong side is what you knit is what you see. What you see is what you knit. Whoops, lost that one. But the first stitch is on the edge stitch. You, you need to do the opposite so we can give that nice edge looking. Yarn over and it. Okay, so I will meet you. But I will come and show you one more time when I do the wrong side. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am at the end. Just wanted to show you. So I did my last. I did the belt. And I knit one, make one, knit one. Okay, here I'm just going to knit the last three stitches. Okay, when I'm turning my work on the wrong side, because these three stitch stitches are the edge stitch, I'm going to knit, slide the first one, knit. knit and uh, the rest is what I see is what I knit okay so just knit these and uh, what you see is what you knit three purl two knit three purl two knit 
Okay, so I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I am at the front and uh, I did my edge, which I did knit, slide, knit, knit. I know it looks like pearl, but because I did the knit on the back. So what I do is these three stitches, I do knit back and forth, knit, knit, and it gives me this nice edge. Okay, so to knit, we're going to do three purl. So what we do is one row, we just knit. And then we come, we go back and forth. And then on the second, we do the uh, belt and yarn over. And it gives us this nice, beautiful seed look. I just love it. So this is all I'm doing for this row. I hate it when it makes that noise. I can't make a stop to that, unfortunately. So I'm just going to do knit. And then on the wrong side, I'm just going to knit what I see. But don't forget the edges. The edges are just knit stitches. Okay, so I will knit this row. Can you see? It gives you this beautiful look. I will knit this. And then the wrong side. And I will come back to show you one more time how to do the seed, the coffee seed again. Just lovely, and it really looks nice in this color. Okay, so I'm on the right side. As I said, the three stitches, I'm sliding the first one. And I am going to knit, knit. And then I am going to purl the two stitches. And then here we're on the three knit stitch. The third one, I'm going to go put it over. And then knit, yarn over, make that stitch that we just lost, and then three knits. This is all to it. As you can see, it's super easy, and it's so nice and fun, and it goes fast. I haven't counted. Uh, let me just count before. And what I did is, uh, I noticed that I did four knits, so I had to rip it apart. So I put the two knits, two knit stitch here, and at the end I have two knits. So this number is perfect. Multiple of five, I think I have 70 stitches, yeah. So 70, um, so multiple of five would do anything you want. This is wider than a scarf. So I'm just gonna use up all the yarn that I have. And uh, this is all to it. So. You just do the pattern on this row and on the next row you just knit the wrong side and then you come and you, on the uh, this side what you do is so the first row is you just knit you put your stitches two 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 purl three knit two purl three knit and on the wrong side what you do is you knit what you see the, the edges are always knit stitches, so it gives you this nice flat, it won't curl. So on the third row, you you make these uh, yarn, uh, like you slide the third stitch on the knit. Oops, I lost it. Grab that one. And then you slide it like this and you make a belt. I call it a belt and it gives you, it separates the seed from the next seed that we are creating and then we knit yarn over and we knit and it creates this little hole here this eyelet this lace that creates this beautiful rib stitch I just love it love it love it and then you purl purl and you repeat it repeat it as, as many as you have cast on and then you knit, yarn over, you knit. And you make that uh, yarn that you have uh, lost, you have uh, deleted. You have repeat. So easy. Go over, let it go. Knit, yarn over, knit. And this is all to it.
yeah it's so soft and um this is a number seven and it makes it way soft oh six pardon it's seven i thought it was seven it's a six it's a six millimeter knitting needle so i'm just gonna knit a couple of rows i hope you understood this uh this tutorial it's super easy it's just a four row repeat but the third row is what we make this so four row repeat and then um the third row we make this uh let me show it one more time so easy new beginners will love this so you go over over the two stitches you let it go so you get rid of that stitch you knit the first stitch yarn over this is the second stitch actually but we did the yarn over so it becomes a third stitch okay and then pearl 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 yeah i want to talk about my nails i had i went to treat myself yesterday i'd had my pedicure manicure done i just went to the walmart they have a spa there like I have ever, never, ever had it done like this in my life. And I would never, ever go there. If you live in the Edmonton, Albany area, oh, it did not last for 24 hours. Can you see it's, it peeled already? It's it peeled. Can you see most of them are gone? I just can't believe it how. And then she cut my, she cut my foot. She, I should have paid her half. Instead of paying $75, I should have paid her, you know, $35. Because uh, she cut my, while she was doing my pedicure, she cut my feet. Like, it bleeded like crazy. I just can't believe how clumsy. Like, she uh, usually what they did, I don't know. I haven't been uh, doing manicure either, French manicure either, for a long time. I usually put my own nails. And I'm always in the water, in the kitchen, right? But... Uh, particularly i had my manicure pedicure done i did not wash any dishes i put everything in the washer and still it did not last 24 hours i remember when i used to have my manicure done they would last for two weeks believe it or not they would last for two, two, two weeks and i said she said they won't last i said oh yeah two weeks they would last but the quality that she was using, it was just terrible, I guess. I can't believe it because it, it all peeled. Now these edges will go. I wanted to have nice nails when I was doing my tutorials, but yeah, unfortunately. So uh, instead of she, they use this tool that they blow it. What she did is she put, she put the polish with her own hand. And, and it's very thick, like, you don't do French manicure like this, I don't think. So it should be thinner, right on the edge, right? Anyways, uh, I had a very bad experience yesterday, and I don't think I would ever, ever go. I did go once, like three months ago I was there, uh, uh, because I'm being diabetic. I have to be very careful when I'm having my pedicure done. And then uh, when she cut my feet, I said, I'm, I am a diabetic it doesn't heal and then she said oh i'm sorry i'm sorry well she wasn't watching what she was doing and i do tickle and i had a hard time holding my see i didn't do a yarn over i have to do a yarn over Let's see so i tried to explain to her like it won't heal this will take forever and oh yeah I, I tickle and i hold it myself so care and she said you moved and i, I didn't want to argue with her because it was pretty crowded everyone was watching when i was bleeding right they thought that i was going to fight with her i think because they were waiting for a fight <laughs> you know you can see people's face it was so funny i didn't even open my mouth she, i said can you please put a band-aid because it's bleeding right <laughs> thank god she did or else everywhere was going to be blood <laughs> But, um, yeah, I saw people's face. They were looking for me to argue with her. No, I don't argue in front of people. I won't, I wouldn't even discipline my child when I'm outside my home. I don't like speaking loud. I'm already a loud person when I talk. 
so I don't want to, you know, increase my voice. So, uh, yeah, I, I didn't argue. But she did not do a good job. Like, the end result wasn't good. That's another thing, right? <laughs> she cut my feet. She, she, I have a bandage on my feet. I had to put, come home and put a polysporin. But uh, the end result was terrible. It did not last for 24 hours. Oh, my goodness. I'm just... Uh, I just wanted to treat my, you know, sometimes you, you need to treat yourself, right? Pedicure, manicure. When I do, I do one of them. I don't usually do manicure because I don't have that much of uh, things. Uh, what's it called? Um, cu cu uh, cuticles on my nails. Yeah, it's called cuticle. I don't have that much on my nail. It's all natural. And she didn't even do a good job. <laughs> Cutting those, uh, can you see it's still there? Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, well, I'm not gonna. T she, she was for. She said she was forty years old. I'm not gonna teach a forty year old how to do her job, because I'm not an expert, right? Why would I argue? Yeah, and this edge is. Don't forget, it's always a knit. I would highly recommend to do at least three stitches knit, and when you're turning your work. Knit those three stitches again, so it will give you this nice straight. Especially if you're making for a baby blanket, I would advise maybe five or seven stitches. If you're, yeah, this would be perfect for a baby blanket. The stitch. See? Yeah, I just had to talk about my nails, so I gave you my review. If you live in Edmonton. <laughs> Albany area, please don't go there. Don't waste your money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. I took a. I took a course for um, uh, what you call it, for uh, diabetes, and uh, I was told. Uh, to not to have my pedicure done. Yeah, so that was another reason. Uh, so that was another reason I wasn't uh, having my pedicure done. I was. I usually care for my own feet, and I even did a video about it. So uh, if you have uh, diabetes, yeah, don't go. Cause the way she cut my. She she was using a grinder, and she said. The laser cut it. It was just like a food grind. I have I have never seen anything like that. So, yeah, that was another thing. Uh, yeah, if you have if you're diabetic, yeah, the feet are very important, and then we need to look after them, right? That's another thing. So I took that course, and she highly recommended not to go there. But I did. Now I'm kind of. Uh, Saying to myself, why did I go? See? See how it gives you this nice straight? I just wanted to show you. So knit, knit, knit three stitches. If you're making a baby blanket, five or seven stitches, definitely. Yeah, so I'm going to knit a couple of rows. Yeah, this is how it looks on the green. And this is how it looks like on the gray. And this is a five weight, so this is like a three weight. This is not a four weight. I don't believe it. They wrote it wrong. So I will knit a couple of rows, and I will come back to show you how it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am going to start the third of the coffees, coffee beans. So one, two, and this is the third. Okay, and I just repeat it over and over. Slip the third, knit, knit, yarn over, knit. Purl, purl two stitches. Again, you can increase these. You can make it three, you can make it four. It's up to you. It's like a, it's like a rib. Like you can make it, instead of knitting 
two knit two pearl you can put this which i've been seeing on uh, uh, turkish ladies knitting this uh, stitch and it looks well with a thinner yarn it looks way fantastic because of the tutorial purpose i'm using a bigger knitting needle and uh just wanted to share you this stitch so i hope you like this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my channel I just turn the lights on it's getting dark if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends let me show you this one as well i think it's more uh, appealing on this than this what do you guys think yeah every yarn shows it different that's what i believe in sometimes yarn has to talk to you when you're starting a new uh pattern a new stitch yeah if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and don't forget the, don't forget to hit that notification button uh, on the first one when you hit the no subscribe you will see a notification button so hit that first one. So every, uh, when you hit that first one, uh, YouTube will send you a, like a, under the bell when you open your YouTube channel that there's a new tutorial or new video that I have, that I have posted and uh, sharing it with you. So you can click on it and you can watch it. And you won't miss any of my tutorials because I've been getting that lately a lot. I never saw you well i've been here on youtube since 2009 and i do get that comment a lot as you can see i only have 36,000 subscribers i don't know why <laughs> uh but i'm slowly naturally growing and um yeah you guys enjoy i do uh knitting tutorials i do crochet tutorials i do food videos natural stuff whichever comes to my head i do showcases i do fashion shows i do podcasts i do a live on the 27th of each month so don't miss those okay you guys take care and i'll see you on my next video happy knitting Bye bye